What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. Today I'm in the company Hello. of these two beautiful chaps. It is a cold, cloudy, white tangy day here in Christchurch today. It is the 6th of February and we're off to a great adventure today. Off to some tramping this morning and then with some lunch and then a lot of things, probably nap in the middle and then we're off to the noodle market in the evening. So it's going to be a fun day. Here you can see me inside. What the fuck? It's empty! Yes! We made it! <laughs> Two and a half hours later and almost... I just checked 12,000 steps, everybody. And two very much in pain knees. <laughs> <laughs> We actually made it back! How cool is that? Now this is a really cool spot and a lot of greenery and there are like different tracks available and if you climb up on the very top um, as you saw you can just see a beautiful scenery out there so I think I can speak on behalf of everyone we're super super hungry starving right now so off to some lunch Alright, we've got some food in here. So I got a broccoli soup with some toast on the side and some coffee. Wayne's gone for his favorite sticky chicken with some toast as well. And Kayo, I think, is having eggs benedict with some iced tea. Bon appetit! Hi everyone, welcome back. We had got to home several hours ago and had a really nice nap. Um, freshly showered, well rested, and now just getting ready for the noodle market that starts at 6 p.m. today on the Waitangi Day, the 6th of February. And I thought if you haven't yet Googled what Waitangi Day is all about, here's a little history lesson for you. The 6th of February in New Zealand marks the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840. This is when representatives of the British Crown and over 500 Maori chiefs signed what is commonly considered to be New Zealand's founding document. The day was first officially commemorated in 1934 and it has been a public holiday since 1974. The treaty itself is a set of principles which the British and Maori used to found the country and build a government in New Zealand. Maori cede the sovereignty of New Zealand to Britain. Maori give the British an exclusive right to buy lands they want to sell. And Maori are given the rights and privileges of British subjects. For some people, Waitangi Day is a holiday. For many, and especially for Maori, it is the occasion for reflecting on the treaty. Opinions differ, and there is still a lot of heated debate surrounding the true meaning of the treaty in modern New Zealand. Regardless, this date is a very important marker in the country's history. Alright guys, we're here. This is one of our another traditions that we do pretty much every single year, Dwayne and I. So this time they've got a little more space occupied and most of it is food, food and drinks and more food. It's amazing. The last time we ate the Filipino Hoi Pinoy, which is Dwayne's particularly favorite. There's Thai, there's dumplings, there's noodle plates, there's the sweet and the sour and the drinks and ice cream and literally anything you want you can find it here so let's eat some food all 
All right, guys, we finally made it home. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. But I wasn't